right. Let's go ahead and try this again. What? We're streaming. Talking. An audience. Zero people watching. Got to entertain. Are you not entertained? What do we got to do? Mine copper. That's our next objective. It's copper rock. Level four mining. Good work. If you'd like to know more about mining, don't hesitate to ask. Settings, graphics. And then twenty in the background. There we go. Now when I click off, it looks fine. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we need some tin rocks. One more piece. And that's good enough. There's the forges. There we can in. Bronze bar, we can make four of them. And done. Uh, this button of pause selects brown bar so all that you can smith and fit. The bronze full helm armor category. In project. Alright, it's hot. Now we're making us another helmet. We're gonna sell this one for some cash. Oh. Quality metal work. See, you're going to be a master smith. You finish smithing bronze for him. There you go. Pet mining and smithing description smith me. Of course, by your own hands. Your reward has been added to your backpack. Seven bronze bar. Noted. Um, I'm ready. I want to fight the trolls. Set the bronze water show items you smell this. That's fine. I ain't really wanna make no more of that. <laughs> Making us do it, so let's go ahead and finish it off. This is going to get faster eventually. Do we heat it up again? Oh, we can heat it up again. Get 
Just pumping bronze plate body. There we go. There we go. It's not telling us to craft anything else. So let's go to the bank. Let's get some of this food out. Some shrimps, crawfish, and I had some bread up in here. Recap bronze raised by 50. Copper and tin rocks doubled for ore mining. Okay, so that tells me what skill actually. <clears throat> Excellent. Not only do you have food, a helmet, and a melee weapon, but you even equipped additional melee armor. Well done. Now you're prepared. It's time for you to learn some more combat techniques. Combat in RuneScape uses a resource called Adrenaline. As you attack, you gain adrenaline. When you come out of combat, your adrenaline will slowly drain to zero. When built up, adrenaline can be spent on powerful attacks called abilities. Prepare code ability to require 50% adrenaline to activate and spend 15 adrenaline when activated. Okay. Ultimate abilities require and spend 100% of adrenaline. Abilities can be accessed on an action bar. Action bar is a set of customizable shortcuts to many actions in RuneScape. Then left click or key bind a slot to perform an action. They put two down there for me. Abilities are one the action an action bar can hold. The threshold ability called slaughter has been added to your action bar. When triggered, your ability will go on cooldown. This is a short period in which you cannot use that ability again. The action bar can also hold items as well as abilities. <clears throat> Drag cooked food from your backpack into your action bar. Ready to slay some trolls. Head into the cave to the north and defeat five troll shuckers with melee attacks. Okay. Right, so we can get rid of the skills, get rid of the backpack, worn equipment, prayer abilities. So put that down there. I need to pray. Where's the temple? Arm foot prayers on. Um, is there an info map? Yes, there is. You are here, path objective. Agility tutor, prayer tutor, and all. So I want to go here. Here we go. The world map shows all the main features of the game mode. To explore the map, simply move the mouse while holding down the left mouse button. Zoom in or out. Zoom in. Let's map. He explains what the different map icons mean. To control the amount of information shown on the map, use the checkbox to turn on and off locations. World map opens center in your current map position if you want to look at different maps such as dungeon interior escape surface when you move the ground you can choose the map here escape surface escape cavern ascension dungeon Or a map, if you know the name of the place you're looking for, you can type it into the search box for a map label. And double click the map to set a map marker. You can clear 
and that mark can be measured by right clicking the map marker. The button closes the world. in here and pray. Go. Did I get any experience for that? Nope. Head back out to where we're supposed to be going. Back to some of this food too I want to eat. Enter Birth Pro Troll Cave. Here we go. First cave. This troll and defeat troll shuckers. Here we go. Um, the roots. The raptors. There's a shucker. Shuckers have the green. Start off with the troll loot. Most enemy drops bones when defeated. Acquire bones earn experience in the prayer skill. Take stuff. Let's loot off. Coins, bones, bones so drape, and tomato. There a lot. Oh yeah, it's back. So that too. Inventory space. Your backpack is almost full. So if I eat that. You can safely deposit your items in any bank in bank. So I've marked on both the world map and so you can drop or destroy items or drag them out of your bag. Get a bigger bag. Loot system. Loot claiming priorities. Combat skilling drops. Is there an auto loot? I don't know. We'll look at that later. We need to kill five shuckers. Got a trucker? That's a trucker down. Bronze arrows. Armor four. Armor four. Type magic. needed them. Oh, very well. There we go. Left click on them, it varies. Which means we ain't don't have to carry them around on this level. 
Something. The combat ability anticipation. Alright, chucker. And a fat last chucker. Trollbrook return to Terrell. Way of the warrior. Get out of here. Need to cook some of this junk too. He like said cook it all. Let's chop down this tree. Got this wounded warrior down under. Time for this rainy Got chicken. Eat cooked rabbit, cooked rabbit, cooked chicken, cooked chicken. Eat bread, eat cooking. So I might have brought a little too much food. Well done defeating those trolls. Are you ready to move on? Ready to move on. You did great against the trolls. It's time to learn a bit more. Alright, your attacks gain adrenaline. These attacks are abilities. One of basic abilities, your basic abilities are currently activated by a special action ball. This action ball is able to run automated ability firing system called Revolution. Each attack cycle revolution will activate the leftmost ability that is not currently on a cooldown, as long as it meets the requirements. Revolution is fully customizable in your combat settings. Okay, you can find the full sighted abilities and ability books grouped by combat style. Slice, backhand. So it's going to run these as it goes. Got you. What happened to my food that was down here? He just got rid of it. So we had a eat shrimp down here. Them down there. We lose all that out. Let's see. But oh, wait, there's more. Talk to Tora and follow his instructions to learn how to walk. Oh, we just did that. That. Air. Find out what ability does over the ability in the tooltip. Drag abilities from your ability book to your action bar. Drag the eat food ability from your constitution ability book to your secondary action bar. Eat food. Take some time to explore abilities. You can set up revolution if you like it. See the tar again when you're done. Well, there we go. So you can just eat food right there. Consume the first piece of food in your backpack. Revolution will not trigger this ability. Generates no adrenaline. What else we got? Regenerate basic ability. Heal 2% of your maximum life points. Every 26 seconds costs 10% adrenaline. You know what? I'm going to put that heal right up front. So we always get in healed. Backpack is pretty full. You should deposit at least one item into your bank before we proceed. You bank your items at the bank booth to the southwest of me. Deposit some stuff, yeah. 
feather, this thing, get rid of, there we go. That looks like we got enough. Now you're familiar with the abilities, you need a proper challenge. There's a really big troll called Morningstar in the cave to the He'll take them down. Buddy. Boom. What is this? Lesser Sever. Okay, it's already in the bar. Close that out. Autumn Trolls up there. We about to, about to take some out. Oh. He's at level 10. Uh, Copa Booth basically gives you all the food he is carrying when flees. Cave and tear. Okay. You know what? We're going for it. Alright, so I got about... Give me some food. Activate eat food. Some food. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got him. Getting nut. Seven. Make some food. How much food do we eat? We eat all our food. What do we got? Take bronze offhand mace and bone. Go ahead and bury the bones. Gotta level up the hat. More prayer points. Back we go. Now, is that mace? Will it compare? Damage 24. Oh, offhand mace. That's even better. No wonder it wasn't compare. Alright, I've dealt with your troll problem. Let's get up out of here. Defeated their leader? Wow, I didn't expect you to actually survive. You've definitely proven you understand melee combat. Path where the war. Description, prepare for battle, and venture into the domain of the trolls. The war has been added to your backpack. Three rabbit sandwiches. Take the Slayer Collection Lock. It will allow you to keep track of all your rare drops from Slayer monsters. Nice. Hello, and what are you after then? You have anything for trade? Free Slayer Collection Log, I'll take it. Spike Pond Seeds, I'll take that. I'll go to my backpack. Reed Slayer Collection. Oh, book. Do I have nothing? That's not. Put in pocket. Where did that take it? that go into my belt. Layer. Interesting. Oh, 
have no clue what my pocket is at. What happens when you die? Reclaim free. Each item costs 0.1% of its price to reclaim. Maximum for 100 coins per sack. Base reclaim cost is total saved items. I will worry about that when I die. Oh, there it is. New Slayer Collection. Draw that thing. Three. Right, so what do we gotta do next? We can do bow and arrow. Choose a path. Option. Okay, let's do option. Troll patrol. Practice your melee attack and collect arrows by sliding troll chokers. Let's go get some more arrows. And we're just gonna grind it out for a while. So I'm 